Hello YouTube, welcome to Mrs. Koi Style. My name is Kawana. I thank you so much for joining me here on my channel where I speak about style. I do some hauls, some reviews, and every now and again, I sprinkle in a little bit of luxury. So if that is something that interests you, I certainly hope that you would consider subscribing to my channel and hitting that bell notification so that you never ever miss one of my videos. And I typically upload one time per week. Something else that I'm going to ask of you because this is super important in terms of analytics and all of those kind of things that YouTube measures to figure out whether or not they want to push my videos. The thing that I need to ask is that you watch my video to the end. Watch my videos until the end because it lets YouTube know and me that you're interested in me from the time that you click on my video until the video ends. It's super important, so if you can do that, I would greatly appreciate it. Now, let's get started with today's video, which, by the way, I am doing everything I can to keep my videos below 15 minutes, just so that I'm not taking up too much of you all's time. So, yeah, just give me a few minutes of your time, one time per week, and we got this. Thank you. So, I'm going to begin. So for today's video, I'm going to be talking about this new Bottega Veneta trench coat that I picked up. I know it doesn't give very much hanger repeal, so for a lot of the video, I will be inserting photos of me actually wearing this beautiful trench coat. Let me get into kind of the feel of it. It certainly feels like a trench coat, but a weighted, more substantial trench coat, what you would expect from a designer trench coat. It has these really full, voluminous sleeves that taper off at the wrist. At the wrist, it also features this button snap closure so that you could cinch the wrist in and actually give the appearance, give the appearance of an even more voluminous sleeve, which I think just makes it look absolutely incredible, very high fashion, somewhat slightly ever so slightly avant-garde and then here at the neck it has this extra detail i apologize i do not know what it's called but it's it's here around the collar that allows for you to completely cover the neck and just have the flaps from the collar hang over it which also to me gives a very elevated appeal the buttons, as you will see, are in a dark black with a slight brown, almost tortoiseshell kind of look. And then it has this piping here in the front that I guess it, it, it kind of, um, what do I want to say? It's almost like an illustration of your body. So it draws your eyes sort of in, making your waist appear even smaller because of the piping the voluminous sleeves and then the actual cut of the waist which actually goes in even more it also features these pockets here on either side there's a pocket on the left and a pocket on the right these are faux pockets completely useless but i think necessary because it also elevates it every single detail of this coat that is here certainly elevates it and takes it to a different level for me. I think it's it's very pretty. I do not know, I don't wanna say pretty. I wanna say it's cool. Yeah, this isn't pretty. This isn't given the girly girly. This is given, this is given all of the really good, kind of elevated, somewhat even androgynous, would we say? Somewhat of those kind of vibes. It has the belt hoops here on the side for the belt. You can add the belt that it actually came with. Look at me. Things are just slipping and dropping. You could add the belt should you so choose. The belt also came with the jacket in this separate really cute Bottega Veneta dust pouch. What an excellent detail. And here is the belt. It is super long. It is in the same exact material as the coat and it has this sideways triangle that is um, a feature of Bottega Veneta. I would almost say that it's kind of their, what am I calling this? It's their logo. Yes, yes, yes. The sideways triangle, their logo. This is also in the color black or I want to say almost charcoal gray. It's a very, very 
dark black color came with the belt but as you can see it is totally separate so it can in fact be worn with other things in the photographs that i'm going to be adding you will see that i did not wear the belt i just i just chose not to it was something that i didn't necessarily feel that it needed at that time and so look at me just just botching this up but anyway here's the belt when it's closed you see the details it has a few extra holes um it would seem that there would be a lot of extra room but it also has this extra attachment here for you to be able to cinch the belt and kind of keep it away so that you don't have to you know tuck it in this particular Bottega Veneta coat um, I picked up from Nordstrom on sale because um, I do not pay full price for anything. I know I say it all the time. I'm going to continue just to always say it. I don't pay full price for anything. Speaking of which, this, I mean, kind of fabulousness that I am wearing here for today's video, I picked up from Zara on sale for about $10 at the end of last summer. So yeah, that is what I'm wearing. If you're wondering like, oh my goodness, the queen, what is she thinking? Yeah, I'm just in that mood. I'm just in that kind of mood to be in my home making this video to share with you all. But I do love this beautiful pink color. And I thought it was something nice to wear to present my beautiful new in Bottega Veneta trench coat. So anyway, this is the belt, as I was saying. I think I could, you know, I was thinking about um, adding this to a cat suit or something else that I had just to get more use out of the belt and have more bang for my buck. That's actually not even what I was talking about, right? I just completely digressed. What I was speaking about was the price. I was perusing Nordstrom's designer sale section. As I always am, this particular coat popped up at the phenomenal rate of 60% off and then an additional 20 or 30 percent off so it was honestly a steal i got it for i mean over two thousand dollars under retail so it's a win-win-win for me as i would have been doing throughout this video while i've been rambling and sharing i'd be you know um popping up pictures over here so you all can let me know what you think of it as you will see it is a three-quarter length the size that i picked up is a size us 10 i am usually a size six and well maybe even a four it just depends right but um i felt that this because because this was a trench coat and it was the last one that they had i went on ahead and purchased it i think it fits slightly big but i'm okay with it depending on what i may decide to wear with it underneath eventually but in the pictures i simply wore it as a dress i think it was a vibe really really like it and so i am five feet ten and a half inches for reference as you can see it's certainly long enough on me to wear comfortably as a mini dress and so if you have any other questions um about the coat that i didn't share i apologize in advance for not having shared that detailed information but if there's anything else that you would like to know about it please ask those questions down in the comment section if I could find anything similar, I will certainly link that in the description box. Thank you so much for joining me for today's brief video featuring my new in Bottega Veneta trench coat. Please do not forget to give this video a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't. And thank you so much for rocking out with me until the end. I'll see you in the next one.